Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome back to this video. I want to talk about the day that I have just had. I want to show you how many articles I just wrote and we're going to check if they're indexed, all that good stuff. Let's get straight into it. I'm also going to show you the entire process. So I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, April the third, third. 14, 15, 16, 17 articles in one day. That's got to be some kind of record. I did this manually using ChatGPT or GPT-4 Playground. Why am I not using ChatGPT anymore? Well, you may or may not know this, but ChatGPT is banned in Italy. And I don't know if people believe me or not, but I actually do live in Italy, which means that I cannot use chat GPT. It's the end of the world. Or is it? No, not really, because I don't use chat GPT anyway. I actually use what is known as the playground, the API playground. I actually prefer this. It's better. It gives better content. You can control everything, etc, etc. So this is my prompt that I used. I talked about this in a previous video, so I'm not going to read everything out in this video. However, I do want to just add a couple of things. I made the prompt a lot shorter. I removed a lot of the embeds. I just kept the most important embeds. And I also removed a lot of potential internal links as well. Um, I reduced it down to maybe 30 or 40 internal links. The reason that I did that is because I just realized that I was trying to be too intelligent and too smart when I'm never going to use more than 40 embeds or 40 internal links anyway. So let's talk a little bit about the process. Someone told me that I was using the playground incorrectly, but I disagree with you. <laughs> Fundamentally disagree with you. So what I was doing today was I was actually doing something a little bit different to what I normally do. Always using the Keyword Planner, of course, just because the Keyword Planner is just really, really good. I love Google Keyword Planner. Obviously, English, obviously, United States. I'm not going to remove Italy because there's no point. But today, what I was doing was I was writing things like suit and jeans. And I was just looking for the most ridiculous, biggest possible keywords that you can get in my niche. And the way that I did that, was I literally just put average monthly searches and I looked for something that was relevant to me and to what we actually sell in the business. One of the best ones I found today was uh, regular or straight. It's not coming up now. There we go. So straight leg jeans, 40,500. We actually sell straight leg jeans. So what did I do? I wrote an article about the best regular cut straight leg jeans. I don't know why I put straight leg as one word here. I don't know why I did that. Let me show you how this actually works, okay? So we only have two pairs of jeans or two brands of jeans that make sense to include in this article. So all I did was I took my ridiculous prompt. You could cut it down if you want to save money. Let's talk a little, we will talk a little bit about cost in a moment. But all I did was say, write an article about Kappa NFT jeans and Kiton jeans. The title is best regular straight cut jeans, straight leg, regular cut straight leg, sorry, regular cut straight leg jeans in the world. So whoever told me that I'm using this tool wrong, can you just explain to me that when I press submit and it gives me an amazing article, how am I using this wrong? Just because I'm not using it in the way that you use it doesn't mean that it's wrong necessarily. While that's doing that, what I like to do is I like to go to designer.microsoft.com and do a Shopify featured blog image for a um, post with the title. Sorry if I'm typing a little bit weirdly, guys. I got bitten by a stray cat uh, that we were saving earlier. So sorry about that, but I really can't press down on my left hand very easily. Uh, best regular cut straight leg jeans. 
And then all you do is generate, you can add an image, but if you don't have any images to use, if you're like a drop shipping website or whatever it might be, just use one of these. It's not gonna be a huge problem, honestly. This is probably better than anything I could make myself in Canva anyway. So let's just be honest. I like to click here, I like to rename it and rename it like that. Click download, remove watermark, download, bada bing, bada boom. And yeah, that's literally the article pretty much done. Let's open a Google document. Pretend that we're posting this into Shopify instead of a Google document. All you want to do is put this as the featured image. Make sure it's got a alt text, which is possible in both Shopify and also in WordPress. And then this should be almost finished. This is a really good article that it's happened to write for me. I'm really, really happy with that. Kitten jeans feature meticulous details such as hand-sewn buttonholes. How do you know that? How? How does it know that? Like, come on. That's crazy that it knows that. Hand-sewn buttonholes and customized hardware. I don't know what that means, though. Customized hardware on a pair of jeans. This is literally the best content that you can make. GPT-4 in playground i'm not kidding guys you need to stop using this piece of crap i honestly don't like this tool anymore i i, I think it's really bad the playground is significantly better the content is better everything is better once you get the markdown you can copy and paste this if you don't have embeds okay however i have embeds so what i like to do is i like to grab the raw html instead and then I can literally just put this straight into Shopify without editing anything and it will give me this article that you can see here, okay? This for me is the best way to make content right now. The quickest and best. So not just the quickest or just the best. The quickest and the best. I'm literally giving you the key to make incredibly quick and easy content. Let's check a couple of things before the video finishes. I want to check if any of these are indexed. And also, I want to talk a little bit about the cost. So, to write 17 articles, it cost me $5.76. So, let's divide $5.76 by 17. The cost is 33 cents per article. That means if you write, okay, 31 blog posts a month at a cost of 0 0.33, is that right? Yes. It's going to cost you half the price of GPT, ChatGPT Premium, okay? You can write up to 59 articles a month for cheaper than you can using ChatGPT, and the content is better, Please, can people start using the Playground instead of ChatGPT? Another really good thing about the Playground is as long as the maximum length is 2,000 and the prompt, the system prompt is not too long, it will always finish the article without you having to say, please, can you carry on from exactly where you left off and all that crap, okay? So highly recommend the Playground. Let's see if any of these are actually indexed and if they are, I will do a little dance that you won't be able to see. <laughs> this one is not indexed, unfortunately. So if this one isn't indexed, it means that probably like none of them are going to be indexed or maybe only the early ones that I wrote very early on today. However, you can see here, Google Spots, Google Bot Smartphone, Crawl Aloud, yes. Page fetch, fetch Successful, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That normally means that the article will be indexed very soon. I'm just going to go on page two. I'm going to go to the first article that I wrote today. Uh, page three, even. Duh, Jesus, page three. Almost page four. Okay, this is the big test right here. Is this one... Did I even write this today? Yeah, I did. Is it indexed? Oh, it's not. Big problem. Big problem, guys. Big problem. None of these are indexed. I mean, to be fair, it's only been a few hours since I actually wrote them. That is also not indexed. That's not good. Um, normally, they get indexed pretty quickly, so I'm a little bit worried. If none of them are indexed, then either there's a problem or I guess they'll just get indexed tomorrow. Also not indexed. That's strange to me. 
Does that mean none of them are indexed? Wait, let me just check. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. So basically, it looks like these uh, articles that I wrote at the beginning of the beginning of today, for some reason, Google is not going to index them. Uh, it might just be bad content. However, when I wrote something a little bit more in depth, Men's Business Suits, a guide to top luxury brands. This one was also written today, April the 3rd, as you can see, and it's already indexed on Google. So the logic is there. It's just sometimes you, it's a bit hit and miss with whether you've written a good article or a bad article. It's more the, the choice of topic that will lead to it being indexed quickly or not. It looks like that might be the only article that is currently indexed. I'm going to try a couple more and then I think I will end the video. Please be indexed. No. Okay, the point of this video was not to show you that none of these were getting indexed. Okay, these will get indexed. I'll make a video tomorrow and show you that they are indexed. It seems to me that um, just some of the articles were not very good topics. And that could definitely be the problem. This is going to be the final one. Let's see if this is indexed. It is the coolest suits for men stand out in style. This article took me literally two minutes to do everything. And I posted it and it's already indexed on Google. Let's see. There we go. There are the emb embeds. The beautiful thing is I don't even have to put the embeds anymore because I am using this system where I, s I tell them what the embeds are and how I want them to use them. And as you can see, they are using, uh, ChatGPT is using them perfectly. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope this helps you make some good, quick, amazing content that will help you rank on Google. And I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.